Hello YouTubers, welcome to the Sega Genicast. My name is Michael and I'll be your commentator today and we'll be continuing my let's play of Sonic Adventure for the Sega Dreamcast. And we'll be combating none other than the Egg Viper. Now this boss will serve memories for everybody because of this line he says. Yes indeed, the doctor himself will keep saying that line over and over again every time he's firing that missile at you. And then, basically the general pattern of this whole entire boss fight is he's gonna shoot those lasers at you for like four times, and then he will appear and expose himself for you to do a homing attack on him. And one more time, and yeah, actually, no, this time he's actually gonna do a really big laser thingy that you wanna run away from, like I obviously did right now, and here's the part where he exposes himself. Unlike the first time though, you got a homing attack on these beans very carefully. You definitely don't wanna spam your homing attack there, because if you mess up on that part, you're gonna fall into a pit below, and you're gonna have to redo this fight all over again. Indeed, that makes this boss really hard. And that's not all to this boss. There's a lot more coming our way on the later parts of this boss. Okay, so he's gonna fire this laser at me. Ha <laughs> ha! He missed! What a sucker! And then he's gonna expose himself again like a dumb idiot. Gotta do a nice homing attack on him and BAM! We got him! We already taken around half of his health already, which is pretty darn good. And then you're gonna get a little more of that. Oh gosh, that line is... It's funny at first, but it just gets really annoying afterwards. And actually, I've tried this whole entire thing, you know, in Japanese, yes. In Sonic Adventure, you can switch the actual subtitles, um, not subtitles, the actual language, the voice actors into Japanese. And Eggman's really high-pitched on there, it sounds really funny, the Japanese version of Get a Load of This. Anybody who has a copy of Sonic Adventure should try that out, I mean, it, it's funny. Anyways... So we've basically taken around two-thirds of his health already, which is fabulous! Doing pretty good so far here. Hmm, let's see, just gotta have to keep running away from him. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, yeah, okay. Here is the part where you have to time your jump right. As soon as he launches one of those spikes things, that's when you jump. And you usually want to keep your distance from him whenever he does that. However, it, if you manage to get it right, it allows you for you to do a cheap shot at him. And oh no, did you just see that? He got rid of the other half of the platform, which is, oh my, that's, that's, that's pretty scary. So we're going to jump as soon as he launches that at us again. And haha, <laughs> we're going to attack him, kaboom! And now he only's got one sliver of his health left. All right. So let's see what he's gonna do here. Oh, he just got rid of another platform, and he's gonna do this mumble jumble with this spiky thing again. And we're gonna do another homing attack on him. Unfortunately, what makes this boss even harder is this part. You may think it's the end, right? Oh no, I think Tikal said that something's gonna happen. Yeah, there, here it is. Here it is. And yeah. He's actually gonna plow right into one of those platforms that you saw right there, and I narrowly avoided it. And guess what? We beat the Egg Viper, thereby ending Sonic's story for Sonic Adventure. I am so happy right now. Wow, Sonic's story for Sonic Adventure was truly an adventure for me. I absolutely loved his gameplay and everything, the loops, the corkscrews, the everything, especially Speed Highway, that was the best level ever. And we get to see this ending cutscene for Sonic Story now. Alright guys, I hope you guys loved my playthrough of Sonic Story and Sonic Adventure. Man, that was a ride. And 
obviously right now I think you can obviously tell that I edited in an actual mp3 version of this song right onto the credits here because it sounded pretty cruddy on the camera so you know I just go like why not I got Windows Movie Maker here so why not edit in a better version of the song and that's my gift to you guys as a reward for watching my awesome series and I want to thank you guys as an awesome crowd for watching me play this awesome game now I know that you guys obviously want me to give my thoughts and opinions on Sonic's story and gameplay. Well, I think his gameplay is pretty darn fantastic. It did a, it had a great transition from the Genesis era days to this to the 3D world. It's it's impressive. It was a good first attempt. Now, granted, the game may look aged, pretty old today, and it looks kind of funky with the lip movements and stuff. But hey, man, the game has been released for like 16 years so you gotta cut it some slack and okay I do other than just praising it I do have my criticism with it with Sonic runs pretty dang fast it's really really hard to keep him running straight and just touching the wall or anything any obstacle makes him stop immediately which sucks and the camera angles can stink pretty badly in this game but other than that the gameplay is fantastic and so is the soundtrack Excuse me, but I'm gonna have to sing along with this song. The voice inside me says go, I will always keep on running. There is no way to stop me from going to the very top. It doesn't matter who is wrong and who is right. Yes guys, I definitely know I don't have a singing ability, but man that song is so awesome. I can't help myself but to sing along with it, but please don't make fun of my voice down in the comments below. At least I put my voice out there and I gave it a shot, guys. But yeah, I want to thank all of you guys, I cannot thank you guys enough, for enjoying and watching my Sonic Adventure Let's Play. Alright guys, I'm going to end my recording right here so that you can enjoy It Doesn't Matter by Tony Harnell all by yourselves. My name is Michael, and I want to wish you guys peace. This time.